Good morning, boys and girls. Today is April 22nd, 2020. I am doing a writer's workshop lesson for our ELA lesson. Our learning objective is, I can draft a persuasive letter. Writers, last week you started planning your persuasive letters. You thought of an activity that you wanted to persuade a friend to try. You wrote reasons that you can use to help you convince your friend. Today, we are going to take the plans that you created and turn them into a letter. But first, I want to break down the parts of a letter. A letter is different than anything we have written in class. I have a letter that I will be using to show you the different parts of a letter. I will read the letter to you. April 22nd, 2020. Dear Jamie, I'm writing to you because I think that you should try hula hooping. First of all, I think that you would like hula hooping because it is tricky. You like to practice doing the monkey bars so you can get better at it. I think you would like to learn how to keep the hula hoop up for a long time. Also, I think that you would like hula hooping because you can do it with friends. You can do it with Sam and me at recess. These are the reasons why I think you should hula hoop. Please come try it. Your friend, Christine. We start off writing our letter with the date. The date goes in the right hand corner of our paper. Next, we write the greeting. The greeting belongs on the next line all the way to the left. We write dear and the name of the person we are writing the letter to. Notice how I capitalize the D in dear and the person's name. Also, there is a comma at the end of the greeting. These are important things to have when you write the greeting. Now we can get started writing our letter. First, we want to write an introduction where we tell the reader what we are writing about. Then we can list the reasons. Christine starts her reasons after she writes the transition words, first of all, for your letters, you are taking the reasons from your opinion writing web. After you list all of your reasons, then you can write a conclusion sentence to tie into, to tie in everything that you wrote. So for example, Christine's conclusion sentence is, these are the reasons why I think you should hula hoop. Please come try it. Finally, we finish writing the letter with a closing. Since we are writing to our friends, you may want to end your letter by writing your friend and then your name. Notice how I also have a comma here. So these are the things that we need to have when we write a letter. And this is what you are going to be doing today. During the past lessons, you brainstormed about your favorite activities. Last week, you chose an activity to write about. Then you created a web of all the reasons to support why you like your favorite activity and why your friends should try it. I listed all of my favorite activities. I said my favorite activities are reading, painting, and baking. Then I chose one activity that's my favorite to try to persuade my friend to try. And I filled out my opinion writing web. The activity I chose was painting. I listed my reasons and I said that painting helps you be creative. You can paint nice things for yourself, friends, or family. I feel happy when I finish painting. 
and there are many types of paint to try. So what you are going to do is you are going to take your opinion writing web that you worked on last week with your activity in the center and your reasons and you're going to turn that into a letter. In your letter, you want to try to persuade your friend to try the activity that you chose. The reasons on your web will be the reasons in the body of your letter. On this slide, I am going to help you write a letter with an example that I did. Just like you, I chose an activity that I want to persuade my friend to try. I listed my four reasons and I wrote a letter. I started my letter with the date, April 22nd, 2020. Then I wrote my greeting. I'm writing my letter to Miss Schoenfeld. So I said, Dear Miss Schoenfeld, Notice again, we have capital letters and we have a comma. After I wrote my greeting, then I wrote my introduction sentence. I'm writing to you because I think that you should try painting. After I wrote my introduction, then I wrote out all of my reasons and I got these reasons from my opinion writing web. Well, and I said, I think you would like painting because it helps you be creative. You like to be creative when you draw. I think you would like to learn how to paint with different types of paints, like oil, watercolor, and acrylic. Also, I think you would like painting because you get to make it you get to make nice things for yourself, friends, and family. After listing all of my reasons, then I wrote my conclusion sentences. These are the reasons why I think you should paint. Please try it. I ended my letter with a closing and I said, your friend, Miss Morales. Now that my letter is done, I want to make sure that I have all of the parts of a letter that I told you about earlier. I have my date, I have a greeting, I have an introduction, reasons, conclusion, and a closing. Because I have all of our parts, my letter format is correct. So now it's your turn. You're going to take your opinion writing web from last week and you're going to turn that into a letter. So use your planning web to help you draft a persuasive letter. Make sure to include the date, introduction, your four reasons, conclusion, and a closing. When you are done writing your letter, take a picture of it and upload it to your portfolio on Class Dojo. Now, if writing the letter is a little tricky, I have some things that might help you. First, I have sentence stems. Again, if you find it tricky to write your letter, you can always use these sentence stems. I am writing to you because I think that you should try blank. This is good for your introduction sentence. I think that you would like blank because blank. And this is for your reasons. So here, in this blank, you would write your activity. You would write your activity here. And then you would start listing a reason from your opinion writing web. And then you can write, these are the reasons why I think you should try blank. And again, you're listing your activity here. And this sentence is good for a conclusion. I also have my letter on this page. This would be a good time for you to pause the video to help you with writing your letter. If you have any questions about how to write this letter, please let me know. You can send me a message on Class Dojo.
I am always here to help. I hope you guys have a great day, and I can't wait to read all of your letters. Bye.